Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. In a message on World Press Freedom Day, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa said that the press and media have proven to be an essential building block for society and its progress, a beacon of thought, creativity and knowledge, a fundamental component of the rule of law and a safely, safety valve against extremism, terrorism, incitement and hate speeches. His Majesty saluted the men and women of the press and media for their outstanding endeavors, especially during challenges times and for their commitment to response to very responsible and truthful coverage and expression. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the loyal people of Bahrain working in journalism and media, knowing that they are the careers of the noble message to spread awareness, enlightenment and knowledge, and are the national partners in the forward-looking process to consolidate modernization and sustainable development. In celebration of World Press Freedom Day under the theme Journalism Without Fear or Favor, His Majesty noted that the Bahrain Many men and women in the field of journalism and media have been dutifully diligent in safeguarding the integrity of the world objectively, credibly and professionally within a modern and democratic setting and a developed constitutional and legal system that guarantees expressing opinions freely, responsibly, safely and independently. He expressed pride in the gains achieved through the broadening horizons of freedom of the press, media and intellectual creativity that represent refined human bonds and uh, refined human Human values and a true embodiment of the consciousness, civilization, and long history of the Bahraini society. These freedoms are a milestone in the maturity and dynamism of our democratic process and in the respect for human rights and political and civil liberties. His Majesty also pointed out the, that independent press and free and responsible media are among the most important national gains since the launch of the reform project within the framework of respect for rights and freedoms foremost of which is freedom of opinion and expression, the right to exchange factual and reliable news and information, and the use of the latest developments in media and communication technology to achieve this. This is accomplished without restrictions or intimidation, based on modern constitutional and legislative guarantees, an independent judiciary, commitment to regional and international human rights governance, and economic and social progress that has enhanced the presence of the press and the media, and the growth of the their influences. His Majesty stressed that the press and media, with their honorable national history and their adherence to the principles and ethics of the profession, have proven to be an essential building block for society and its progress, a beacon of thought, creativity and knowledge, a fundamental component of the rule of law and a safety valve against extremism, terrorism, incitement and hate speeches. His Majesty valued the role of the Ministry of Information in the performing its mission efficiently and diligently to create legislative and regulatory environments amid the flourishing of press and media freedoms, improve the visual, audio and electronic media, contribute to preserving Bahrain's national identity and highlight its rich heritage and diverse to invest in national talent and consolidate Bahrain's status as a civilized and enlightened center. He also paid a tribute to the ministry's steady contribution to supporting the development and democracy process and its keenness in partnership with local business to develop journalism and media to lay the foundations of a free, fair and objective expression it can collate a concept of loyalty and sense of belonging to the country and protect the right to know he noted that history will always mention brightly how national media assumed its responsibilities with courage and steadfastness in facing all the local regional and international challenges that our beloved kingdom has had to face he stressed that the media overcame the challenges with a strong determination and a free unified national will and stood valiantly in defending the national security and stability, stability, preserving its identity in its national, Gulf, Arab and Islamic dimensions, promoting its developments and civilizational gains and reinforcing the values and duties of good citizenship in the context of peaceful coexistence and mutual respect among all people in this generous country. The press and media have risen to the anticipated level of responsibility with their continuous support for the efforts of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus 
coronavirus, COVID-19, their professional commitment to, education, to educating citizens and residents about preventive and precautionary measures in these exceptional circumstances, upholding integrity and transparency in disseminating facts and information after taking them from official sources, confronting and countering rumors and malicious allegations, and placing the higher interest of the nation above any and every consideration. His Majesty expressed appreciation for and pride in the role of Bahraini women in journalism and media that is equal to their role in all developmental fields, especially during these exceptional conditions, noting that they are within the medical, nursing and voluntary teams at the front lines working diligently to contain the global pandemic in a spirit of community solidarity, determination, altruism and sacrifice in the service of the country and public interest. His Majesty expressed confidence in the awareness of the society and its adherence to the principles of national unity and its respect for preventive measures and official directives and the cooperation of the legislative, executive and judicial authorities and civil institutions to overcome the exceptional challenges and deal with its repercussions in a manner that guarantees the safety and health of all citizens and residents and a return to normal life as soon as possible. His Majesty said that the concurrence of our celebration of World Press Freedom Day with the spiritual atmosphere of the blessed month of Ramadan is an auspicious opportunity to recall human values and principles derived from the spirit of the teachings of our tolerant Islamic faith. These teachings call for the harmony of hearts to uphold the values of honesty, integrity and objectivity in expressing opinions and to stand together to confront attempts to sow discord and divisions through false information and news that are increasingly spreading in the digital age and through satellite channels broadcasting hatred and subversion. His Majesty stressed the importance of uniting stances in defending the professional and ethical principles of press freedom for the sake of a responsible and active media as a partner in the country's development. His Majesty prayed to Allah to grant everyone success for the sake of Bahrain, wishing the country and the Arab and Islamic nation many more returns as well as security, peace, health, happiness and prosperity. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Royal Humanitarian Federation Board of Trustees Chairman His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa has tasked the RHF Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid to chair the follow-up of the committee which was set up to supervise and distribute the donations collected as part of the Fina Khair campaign. The move followed the decision of the Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister tasking the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to set up a coordination committee to follow up the disbursement of donations. The committee features officials representing the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Ministry of Health and the Labor Market Regularity Authority.